So this is my wife. That's my tripod. I want to talk about this tripod real quick, and why I use it. Um, I have a carbon fiber tripod that I use for backpacking and everything, and it's it's great, and it costs a bit of money. Um, she's five nine, so I'm just showing the height this goes to, and it is sturdy. Like you can actually step on these and anchor them into the ground, and this thing does not wobble or move. And when you're looking with a 60, 70 power spotting scope, you know you don't want any wobble at all. And even in the wind, this thing will anchor good enough that I don't get the wobble. And I don't pack this on my backpack by any means. Um, it is just, I throw it in my truck and use it when we're out just kind of doing general glassing to look for elk and deer on the hunts and stuff. Um, the the reason I got this is I wanted a bigger, sturdier tripod when I look at them. They're, they're a lot of money. And I don't want to pack a giant tripod with me. So I thought it's just going to be for my truck. So I'd rather just do something like this. This is a transit tripod. And I found a cool way to get set up because normally they're set up so you can just hook up transits on them. But I'm going to take this bog pot off here. I got a Manfrotto head on here that's fluid. And that's great for, you know, smooth panning and everything. But here we can take this. Yep. So what I've got here is a converter that allows you to use transit tripod to put a regular tripod head on instead of a transit because transits hook on a big bolt I believe it's like a 5 8 inch by I can't remember how many thread a big heavy thing you know and your your tripod heads normally mount to this size of thread and I can't remember the exact specs come up closer as you can see that this is actually a little I don't think I'm going to get it off. I put it on there pretty tight. This is actually a sleeve that screws onto the normal one that this comes with, which is a little tiny, like fourth or whatever. I can't remember the dimensions, but you can buy these, these little, I don't know what you call that. Like I said, it's like a sleeve with threads on it itself. They thread on to bring that to a bigger size. I bought a 10 pack of those for like $3. This was 20 bucks. And it, let me loosen that. Like I said, this is this is the neat part because that is normally what you mount a transit with, which is these big, big five eighths, and you can't put a tripod head on that. But somebody got smart and made this for twenty bucks. I bought this for like forty five. You can see how tall it goes. My wife, like I said, she's five nine, so it goes plenty tall to be able to look through for most of us. You just screw that on there. Get those little converter sleeves. They're all over on there on Amazon and I can't remember what they're called. I might put that in the link down below. All the dimensions of all these are not the link, but any info. And so I put that on there, put that little sleeve on there and then I can attach any tripod head I want to it and use a, a transit tripod, you know, for, like I said, I just throw it in my truck. When we're up on the mountain, I use that, pack it around a little bit, but I don't throw it in my backpack. They don't weigh very much, it's aluminum. But it's just kind of big when they're folded up. And they're they're plenty easy to use. It's a quick release system, you know. Like I said, I've got the one I backpack with, but for just general glassing, especially when you're, you know, like us in the spring, we go out and we glass up giant canyons looking for bulls and whatever to see so we can look for their sheds. I like having something set up like this. Just buy my truck and I can use and then when I actually backpack I have a little tiny one I take with that I sit on the hill with and I'll stand full. You know, standing up when I'm out hiking around just because I don't need to pack something that big. So I just thought I'd show that setup. That's like I said, all this is off Amazon and I'm in it maybe. So, you know, with the exception of the tripod head, that setup is 65 bucks at most. Whereas I was looking at tripods this size that are sturdy. A lot of guys are buying like the Bogan and Manfrotto and all that. They're, they're, uh, you know, four six hundred dollars. You can buy a little bit cheaper, obviously, but as sturdy as that is, it's nice. So yeah, thanks.